Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Tone, with the news, updates, trends, and analysis. Today, we're going to talk about artificial intelligence and why I think and predict this is the year and the beginning of artificial intelligence takeover. What do you guys think? I've been working with artificial intelligence so since like 2018 2019 it's really nothing new nothing in this world is really new like crypto when people knew about it it wasn't really new because crypto has been out since what 2017 2016 all these things are not new people have been working on these technologies but every year seems like they invest more time and more income monetization for the future. I believe artificial intelligence is something that's going to stay here for hundreds of years. And I believe it's here and it's the beginning of something very beautiful. And Microsoft invest 10, 10 billion, I'm sorry, 10 billion. I'm over here talking thousands like if it's my numbers. We're talking about Microsoft. 10 billions in chat GPT parent. It's an app that I've actually had the opportunity to use and it's pretty interesting. Uh, I mean, it's nothing out of the ordinary, but I'm pretty sure $10 billion into that is going to make us mouth drop. Let's talk and go into the article that I pulled up from CNBC about this investment. Microsoft plans to invest $10 billion on OpenAI, the startup behind popular artificial intelligence tool ChatGPT. According to report from Semaphore, the deal is part of a funding round with other investors involved that would open, I mean, that would value open AI at a whopping $29 billion. Semaphore reported Tuesday citing people familiar with the matter. It isn't clear whether the deal has been finalized, but term cheats set to prospective investors indicated the plan was too close to deal by the end of 2022, Semaphore reported. Microsoft reportedly get a 75% share of open AI's profits until it makes back the money on its investment, after which the company would assume a 49% stake uh, in open AI. Microsoft and OpenAI were not immediately available for comment when contacted by CNBC. Interesting. These are the logos, guy. For several weeks, the tech world has been abuzz with chatter about chat GPT. The tool is a natural language processing model, meaning it is designed to generate text that appears as through a human wrote it. The AI model itself variant at the GPT-3 family of large language model has been used for everything from developing code to writing, to writing college essays. A bet on chat GPT could help Microsoft boost its effort in web search, a market dominated by Google. The company Bing browser has only a small share of the global search engine market. However, it is hoped the deal could help the firm chip away at Google's dominance by offering more advanced search capabilities. In December, Morgan Stanley published a report examining whether ChatGPT is a threat to Google. Brian, the bank leads analyst and on Alphabet, 
wrote that the language models could take market share and disrupt Google's position as the entry point for people on the internet. OpenAI, which is founded by Silicon Valley entrepreneur Sam Altman in 2015, launched its cheat launched its chat GPT to the public in late November. Despite optimism over its potential, the project is burning through cash due to overwhelming level, level, level of pressure on its severe arising from its ver virality. Five days after OpenAI released chat GPT, Almond said that the chat research tool crossed 1 million users. Let's download it, guys. I think it's there. Yes, guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> like I got so zoned out into this, but I downloaded, I couldn't find it in iOS. So I went to Google and uh, I mean, I still haven't downloaded, but it says that it's overwhelmed with users. So I can't even see it now. Wow. Can't even see it now. I have to wait. Um, I definitely recommend you guys to check it out is some new stuff in this market. Um, as soon as 2023 hit, I started hearing of chat GPT from different sources. Now I'm actually writing about it. That's pretty interesting. Uh, I'm looking more into it as well because I'm not really familiar with it. I just keep hearing about it. It's coming to my ear. So when something comes to your ear, you got to look into it because it could be a business opportunity. Again, I'm not a financial advisor, but I do look into things, um, into details and see if there's opportunities to make some monetization, some money, some cash, some fatalini, man. Let's make this money. Let's, let's go to the next article. Uh, let me pull it up. I hope you guys are having a great week. I am trying to find a lot of interesting topics for you guys. Uh, artificial intelligence is something I definitely wanted to uh, speak about. Um, I think it's an opportunity uh, for us to learn about artificial intelligence, still new in the game, fresh new year, fresh opportunity. Let's make it happen, guys. I'm here to make it happen. I'm on my calendar right now. After this video, I'm going to make sure I have everything down packed for this week so we could execute and get closer to each and every single goal that we have until we die. If you guys like these videos, please give me a thumbs up. It will help my algorithm. It will help me expand and it will help you guys get more content. Share it to your friends. Share it to your families. 
I will put as much content as I can. For 25 years, Consumer Cellular has been offering no contract wireless plans. Let's see uh, what I'm trying to look for another article. But I did find this video, if I'm not mistaken, it's a video, we could run it, let's see. Exploring the newest developments in artificial intelligence and how it's changing the way we live and work. Stephanie side kicks off our periodic series, The AI Frontier, with a look at some new tools that are getting attention and sparking concern over their ability to produce original work, ranging from college-level essays to art. A chat box that can mimic human intelligence and create poetry? I had to try it. Write a haiku about a tabby cat. Here's what came back. Soft fur brushed by breeze. Tabby cat basks in the sun. Purrs of contentment. Not bad. There's also an image generator that can compose and manipulate pictures with a few keywords. A tabby cat sleeping on the beach. Wearing a fedora as an oil pastel. A site that writes and debugs programming code for you. Or a video generating tool. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm an AI avatar creator. I actually keep seeing this on ads. Today, it's the rise of generative AI, a branch of artificial intelligence that enables computer programs to create original content. Let's see how good of a college essay chat GPT can write. This tool from the San Francisco-based company OpenAI is ChatGPT and can write essays. Take a look at a couple of these sentences. Starting from the top, computer science has always been a fascinating field to me. From the moment I first learned about computers and children's books. Last month, design manager Amar Rashi used ChatGPT and text-to-image program Midjourney to create his book Alice and Sparkle. Mm. Here's how it works. To create new content, these programs are trained on data sets of existing content that hold text, images, video files, or even code scraped from the internet. Some artists say this amounts to appropriating their work without permission. I do hyperlistic drawings. Including South African artist Jonah Drive. This scares me. It makes a huge part of my practice somewhat productive. Hey artists, have you been wondering if AI has been using your art to train itself? I figured out where to look. Illustrator Carly Ann Tipsy suggested artists go to the site HaveIBeenTrained.com to see if their artwork was used in training popular text-to-image programs. I personally found my book cover on there and a lot of stuff from some of my favorite artists. And last month, artists protested the portfolio site ArtStation for featuring AI-generated art on its page. This new wave of sophisticated AI tools is raising some tricky ethical questions as well as some big concerns about topics such as the future of human labor. For more on some of these ramifications, I'm joined by Kelsey Piper. She's a senior reporter at Fox News. All right. Um, you guys heard it there. <laughs> Interesting uh, situation. Uh, chart GPT is something I'm going to look into it. Uh, I'm pretty happy to even talk about it. What's interesting, I didn't even know I was going to speak about um, chat GPT. I actually heard it first from Joe Rogan, and then I heard it uh, somewhere else. And now I'm hearing, hearing it again. So I'm going to put it in my schedule. Let's do it now, guys. Calendar. Calendar. What's today? Wednesday. All right, let's put it in my calendar, guys. Uh, see, I still get distracted, man. It's really hard as a human not to get distracted. Uh, you get a text or uh, or something else. Like, <laughs> like it's a never stopping thing. But yeah, uh, learn GPT. 
And actually, I was actually putting something in my calendar uh, as well. Um, learn about chat GPT. Let's find these opportunity guys. Let's execute. Let's make it happen. Uh, this year, with your help, I'm going to be able to execute. And I'm going to help you guys execute as well. Let's make it happen, guys. This is all I got for you. If you guys like these videos, please give me a thumbs up. Again, I am not a financial advisor. I just like to find opportunity opportunities like these and tell you guys about it. All right. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.